Hey everyone, I am Taco from Gala Music, and I am thrilled to be joined today by Giba from Ape Rave Club. Giba, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. You're a legend. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. I hope Bucks is listening to hear that you just called me a legend. Pretty awesome. Uh, this is exciting for me because I'm actually a fan of yours. You are my favorite ape. Um, I was going to make a reference to Grape Ape in this interview, but it occurred to me maybe not everybody remembers Grape Ape. Um, if you're of a certain age, uh, 40-foot ape, uh, <laughs> friends with a little dog, I think was named Beagle Beagle. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm a fan, and I'm not the only one. Uh, Dance Alone, one of your new tracks, already has over 2 million streams on Spotify, which is awesome. Uh, how does it feel knowing people are going bananas listening to your music and connecting with your vibe? You know, it's very fulfilling and rewarding to know that our music is connecting with people. Creating music is a deeply personal process, and knowing that others are able to relate to it and enjoy the music really validates these artistic abilities. Also, knowing that my music is resonating with others provides a huge boost of motivation and inspiration to create more music. Yeah, I can totally relate to that, Giba. Um, as you may know, I am an Olympic level finger drummer. And whenever I get positive feedback for that, it is really motivating for me. Uh, I spend a lot of time in the EDM forums. And there's a lot of talk about your breakout performance this year at Tomorrowland. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Tomorrowland is one of the premier EDM festivals in the world. Um, what is it like performing in front of so many people? Uh, do apes get nervous? <laughs> do apes get nervous? Um, well, performing at Tomorrowland was an incredible experience, okay? The energy of a large crowd is bananas. While I was a bit nervous, I admit, to play in front of such a large crowd for the first time, the honor to be the first bored ape on such a highly celebrated stage and to be able to put on a show and connecting with the audience, man, it makes all the nervousness worth it. It was definitely a moment I will forever cherish. I actually have some footage of you performing at Tomorrowland that I think would be fun to share. Uh, Paul, would you mind cutting to Tomorrowland? God, that looks so fun. Uh, I have to put that on my list. Maybe I can go next year. Maybe maybe Bucks can send me to Tomorrowland next year. Uh, what are some other festivals that you are hoping to perform at at some point? Yeah, you know, it would be a huge honor to play at ApeFest and to be able to show my skills and entertain all my fellow apes. And I also heard Gala throw some amazing events, so who knows? <laughs> Gala definitely knows how to throw a party. Uh, Giba, who are some of your musical influences? Ah, good question. Um, there have been many electronic dance music DJs, uh, EDM DJs, who were influential in my musical journey. Some of them are like, you know, legends like Def Punk and Dead Mouse. These artists have helped to shape the sound of EDM and obviously they've also influenced me. Other influences um, include like Chiesto, of course, Skrillex, uh, Swedish House Mafia. These artists have had a major impact on the EDM scene and are known for their unique style and innovative approaches to creating music. So a lot of influence from there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since I started working with Gala, I've gotten into EDM a lot more and there are so many different genres and subgenres and styles. Um, it's really fascinating and it's super fun to explore. Uh, what's your favorite thing about being a DJ? My favorite thing about being a DJ? Oh, 
Well, there's so many things, you know, that makes being a DJ rewarding and fulfilling. I guess one of the best things about being a DJ is the ability to share music with others and to create a unique and exciting experience for the audience. As a DJ, you have the power to control the atmosphere and energy of a party or event and to take the audience on a musical journey. Another great thing about being a DJ is the opportunity to be creative and to express yourself through music. DJs have the freedom to choose the tracks they play and to mix them together in unique and interesting ways. And this allows us to showcase our individual styles and to create something that is truly our own. Additionally, okay, being a DJ can also be a lot of fun. Uh, it can be in a great way to meet new people and to connect with others who share a passion for music like you <laughs> yeah i get it that's exactly how i feel about being a community manager uh, i love meeting new people and connecting uh, both online and in real life which is one of the great things about working for a gal is we do in real life events like um, the gala music live is super fun um, we've hosted other parties along the way so yeah super great i get it um, i know that your fans are a really big deal to you uh, do you have anything special planned for them in the future? Ah, mm. you see, my fans aren't just really important to me. They are everything to me. They are the reason I am able to continue pursuing my passion and create new music. I'm forever grateful for every single one of our fans. Super excited for the journey we are about to embark together. We're just getting started and with the power of Web3, we will build and grow together. We can provide fans with a sense of ownership and connection to us and our music and offer unique and exciting ways to engage with us and provide a range of benefits, opportunities and experiences for our community. It's really exciting. That is really exciting. I'm really excited. Uh, okay, last question, probably the most important one of this interview. What is your favorite banana recipe? <laughs> uh, well, I really enjoy bananas uh, topped with peanut butter. And you know what's also really cool? Deep fried bananas. Oh, delicious. My wife's favorite snack is bananas with peanut butter. Mrs. Taco. And she <laughs> is totally comfortable with me referring to her as Mrs. Taco in my work life, which is pretty great. I've never had deep fried bananas, uh, but that would be worth taking a look at. I'll deep for anything. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, Giba. Is there anything else you would like to add for our community? Did we miss anything? Um, well, thank you so much for joining me today and for all these amazing questions. I've really enjoyed this AMA and I hope that you will continue to support us, um, to support my music and art. You can stay up to date with our latest projects by following us on socials and our Discord. I look forward to connecting with all of you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Giva. Uh, this was a ton of fun for me. And thank you to everyone who tuned in. Bye. <laughs>